All right, guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to read data from a database table and output it to an HTML page. Uh, previously, you've seen examples in various videos of how to write and update a database. Today, we're going to be doing the opposite to where we read and extract data from a database and actually do something with it. Okay, so for this, I'm going to go to our textbook for the year. W3 schools, or you can just Google um, read a database W3 schools. All right. First link to pop up PHP select data from MySQL W3 schools. Let's use that. Okay. So I'm going to skip the initial explanation and we're just going to go straight into using MySQLi, uh, which I've used myself and works just fine in our applications, uh, to show you how this code basic, basically works. All right, so this is the basic code that will um, log into a database, read a table, extract the information you tell it to, and then output it to a HTML web page. Uh, it's not very lengthy, it's not very long. Now, you'll have to modify it, of course, but I'm going to show you basically how to get the information you need out of a database. Okay, so first things first, and this should not look uh, too different from what you've seen. They set up variables for the server name, the username, the password, and the database name. All of which, of course, you'll have to replace with your uh, with your information to make work. Okay, and similar to setting up the SQL uh, query or the connection in the previous examples, they set up the connection here, uh, calling a new MySQLi server name, username, password, database name. So all this right here is about creating the connection. Okay, nothing new here. They set up the SQL query here where they're saying select, so here they're using a select uh, a select command, MySQL. They want to select ID, first name, and last name from my guests. Okay, so here is kind of a, this is a general query where they're just pulling everything from the database, from the columns, ID, first name, last name, from this table. Okay, so we haven't even looked at a table yet. Uh, I'm going to use this particular table here uh, that I had up earlier uh, to just extract the information from, uh, let's see what that's called, a table smith under the web tech database. Okay, so we're going to work on extracting this data and displaying it on an HTML page. So, of course, I'll have to change this. I'm going to use myself since I'm not going to be picking and choosing. Um, columns, I want to pull everything, I'm just going to use a star, but I'll show you that later. So from my guests, which would be the table, okay, so I have to change that as well. Now let's say that you wanted to pull only specific rows, uh, you can add, um, this command can actually be longer, so it can be select something from table where column equals this, okay, or where column equals that. So you can make it more specific, and this is very robust. There's so many things you can do with this SQL command to pull the information you need. Um, but if you just want to pull the general table, uh, which is what I'm going to show you here, you can just select star from table name, whatever your table is, and get all the information. Now the tricky thing is, is how to handle that information. So we've built connections before, we've built SQL queries before, but we've actually not executed a read on a database before. So you're going to see how to do that here. Okay, so you're going to run the query. Result equals the connection query with this SQL command. Okay, so here you're running the, co the command to the connection. Okay, then you're looking for what comes back. If result, so the information from the query gets packed in this variable result. If result is greater than zero, meaning that it actually found rows that were valid per this criteria, then for each one of those it found, it's going to execute this echo, all right? And what this echo does is it actually writes HTML for you, okay? So this you should look at as it's PHP that's echoing 
HTML code. So anywhere you see a variable, it's actually replacing this, this dollar sign row, which is a, a row that's returned from the query uh, ID. So whatever was in that column for that row ID is going to take the place of this entire thing right here. And then whatever was in that column in that row for first name will sit here. Whatever was in that column in row for the last name will sit here and so on and so forth. So after it echoes that, then as long as there's another row that it needs to display, it will go back and run the same command, the same echo command. That's what this while statement does. For every row, it goes back and it echoes this, this HTML. You can kind of tell it's HTML between these quotation marks because of the BR. Now they have to separate it and break it up so that they can execute and run the PHP. As you notice, the PHP itself is not in quotation marks, but it actually exists outside of it. These periods are joins, join commands. Uh, they concatenate, they bring the text together after it's been interpreted. Okay. Now, if your results uh, did not yield any rows or did not yield any results, um, it would follow the else command, echo zero results, or you can change that to say whatever, no, no records found, and then it'll close the connection, and that's your script. Okay. So what I'll show you is, uh, in part two, is generally how this is going to echo out, what it's going to look like, and from there you have to learn and adapt how you want to manage that information with these particular variables. Okay? For instance, you might not just want to display them row at a time uh, for, every, for every row that you got to display a row. You might need to pack that into uh, something else. You, know, you may need to do something else with the data. But at least this way you can extract it and you have the variables to work with. So again, in part two, I'll, we'll have this up, we'll run it, I'll show you how it kicks back the HTML, and then we'll go from there.